My name is April Manu. I am 21 years old and I am a theater and English double major. So I've always been very interested in theater and in performing arts. I was in my first official show when I was in the sixth grade. Um, and even though I always wanted to be an actress, I didn't think it was something that I could plausibly do in college. I think that the whole, uh, yeah, I think the whole idea of being a theater major in college comes with the caveat of you're not going to have a job, you're not going to make money. So when I came into college originally, I was only an English major. And I thought I could do English and maybe like act on the side. And then my first semester here as a freshman, <clears throat> I took a class theater, I believe 110, with Corey Rothman. And I had a TA, Sammy Salim, and he was actually a part of the theater department here at the University of Maryland. And we had some acting exercises in that class, and it just kind of reminded me that I love to do theater and I really wanted to pursue it. And so it was kind of a mixture of taking that class and having, you know, a mentor and Sammy and, and Corey Rothman. I was like, you know, this is something that I want to do. Yeah, I just, I'm not feeling it, guys. Come I'm with sorry. me and Celine to go skinny dipping in the yes. pool. Just come on, you know you want to. You can go get towels upstairs. I mean, whatever. It sounds kind of fun. It is fun. And plus, you have an amazing body. Doesn't she have an amazing body? Oh, you have such an amazing body. Yeah. Come on. You can do it before you go. I mean, you guys are both pretty drunk. And high. Definitely high. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I am neither of those things. My parents are Nigerian, and in Nigeria, at least when they were um, young, it, there was really no performing arts. It's not like here in America where there's Broadway and there's like Hollywood and there's like all of these kind of avenues and different ways to be an artist and there's like the potential to make a lot of money. In Nigeria, even though there is Nollywood, that's like a very, very small subsection, there's not really like a, <clears throat> well, to my knowledge, there's not really like a booming Broadway-esque type industry and so I think a lot of the response to wanting to be a performer and how they respond to it is that they just don't understand what it is and they can't wrap their head around the fact that you could actually make money doing something like that and so I think when they say oh we don't want them to do theater it, it comes from this place of if we're gonna spend all this money for you to go to college and get an education we want you to get an education in something that we know will provide for you and we know that will advance you um, and I mean, I think there's this kind of prevailing idea across all boards and all cultures that theater is somehow lower class. It's kind of this weird paradox of like, the people who go see theater are upper class, but the people who do theater are kind of like lower class or beneath. Um, unless you're like one of the 1% that does, you know, Hollywood movies and films. So I think that's where it's coming from. And I think that that's where all the animosity and that the fights kind of start is that idea of they just really don't understand what theater is and a lot of <clears throat> uh, the relationship with my parents is trying to educate them on what I do. Even now my dad is kind of confused about the classes I take and why I'm at rehearsals for five hours and, and why I'm not getting paid to do shows here and all of that stuff. So it really is just about educate, educating them and um, letting them understand that things are different here in America and that there is a plausible job uh, career advancement opportunities. I think that I do so much in theater um, and have so many goals and ideas. I, I, I think overall, I, I really want to be someone who is respected in the industry.